I now call Julian Huppert, who is the MP for Cambridge and the Vice Chair of Federal Policy Committee, to summate on the motion. Thank you very much, Conference. It's great to follow such an experienced first-time speaker. I hope we'll see many more of those. Conference, I'm proud that under this government crime rates have fallen and are the lowest they've been in 33 years. I'm proud that we're starting to focus our criminal justice system to help break the cycle of reoffending. That we have the, reduced the number of women and children in prison. We should be proud of these achievements and many, many others that we have. But conference, our work has only just begun. Despite these successes, there is far, far more to do because our system is plagued by failings. Failings that let down some of the most vulnerable people in society that mean that despite the progress we've made, levels of crime are too high, victims aren't supported, and many vulnerable people are let down. Why do we still have these failings? It, it's not that hard to find them, Conference. It's because of policies based on ideology rather than evidence. People who want to posture, not do what works. And not only is it a bad idea, but it costs us money. At a time where we don't have spare money sloshing around, every pound we waste on things which don't help is money we are not able to use to help people when they need it. So we need an alternative conference. We need an approach that's bold, that will really tackle crime, that doesn't just sound tough, but actually is tough and will make a difference. It will actually make people safer and does not become authoritarian in a desperate attempt to control what everybody does. But I'm also proud, Conference, that we are prepared to discuss controversial issues as well. Big issues that you won't hear discussed elsewhere about drugs policy. We heard fantastic speeches from Gabriel, from Brian, from Norman. And isn't it good that we have a minister whose aim is about crime prevention, stopping it from happening? Although perhaps the title of crime minister might have been more attractive. <laughs> but Norman and Brian and Gabriel are right. We should be looking at drugs policy. We should be sensible. It is horrifying to hear the Tories blocking evidence. They do this time and time again. If they don't like the evidence, they try to suppress it. We have to move away from that. And I was being pleased to hear Norman speak out about medicinal cannabis. Why, conference, would we want to harm ill people? Why would we want to stop them getting better? Why would we want to punish them? We can and should change that. Now, let me turn to many of the other speeches. I won't have time to deal with every single one of them. Evan and Stephen and their amendment. Please support it. It is worth adding. We do want to see freedom of the press. We want to see press behaving responsibly, which means reporting some things and not just covering every salacious detail. And I would remind conference and I would remind the press that the definition of public interest is not simply measured by how many people buy the paper and how many click on the link. There is a far deeper thing, but we want to see that. Now, conference, we've heard a lot about police. We've heard about police corruption. Uh, from Sarah, we've also heard about excellent examples of policing from Jackie and from others. Conference, the vast majority of police do a fantastic job. They work hard keeping us safe, sorting out problems, and they are let down by those who behave atrociously. We've had police officers come into Parliament who've given evidence about all sorts of things they've done, and I talk to other police officers outside who say they're embarrassed to be wearing the same uniform as some police officers. We have to be tough on corruption because that will support the police who do a great job. And I was very pleased to hear from David and from Jean about mental health. The problems that we have from mental health should not be dealt with by the criminal justice system. A huge amount of police time is taken up, tackling this in ways that they cannot do. And I pay tribute to people like Inspector Michael Brown, who's done a huge amount to support awareness of this. We have to change the Mental Health Act and places of safety so it helps people rather than causing problems. We heard from William about the cries for help that we too often ignore. We punish people when what we need to do is to support them. We heard a lot about restorative justice, a brilliant way of actually stopping reoffending, helping people. We heard from Ed and from Tim about the Cambridge experience. We heard from many others about what we can do that will actually make a difference to people. Restorative justice is cheaper than throwing people into prison. And actually, you know what conference? Victims prefer it as well. We've spoken about sexual violence, violence against women and girls, about female genital mutilation. We are tackling all of that. And conference, this motion only has a certain amount in it. It is a long paper. Please read the paper where we cover this in great detail. There is much that we can do. Some of it is about policing, getting police to take this seriously. Some of it is about attacking ingrained community activities, such as with female genital mutilation. 
We must make it clear it is not acceptable. We should end that in a generation. We should also look at educational approaches. We should have compulsory sex relationships education in schools for everybody. So people can't just pull their children out so they don't learn what is and what is not acceptable. We heard from Gemma about disability hate crime. It's not something, conference, that we can tolerate. We must take actions against that. We must take that seriously. The police do not always take these things seriously, and they really must, as Gemma explained so clearly. We heard about police and crime commissioners, and Sue spoke about this. Conference, it is quite clear that police and crime commissioners have not had that groundswell of democratic support that might have happened, that, if you, that the speeches were when the Conservatives wanted. It simply has not worked. Yes, we need to have an improvement from the old police authorities, police and crime commissioners. It has not been a successful experiment. It has not made policing more accountable. It has, in fact, meant that chief constables spend less of their time giving information to the public. We've talked about access to law. There have to be some savings in our budget. We know about the financial issues. We know that Labour's manifesto committed to cutting back on legal aid funding. But we can find alternatives. And as we heard, it is not right that we stop, take very wealthy people and prevent them from paying for their own legal support so that we have to pay instead. We can find more money in order to get that system and to make sure people have the access to law that they deserve. Conference, we have an idea about how to run criminal justice policy. We know what we want to achieve. We want to reduce the crime that's happening in the first place. We want to design out crime, as Ruth said, so that it doesn't happen. There aren't those opportunities. We want to help victims and we want to reduce reoffending. We have a package here that will do that. Because in government we have made a real change. But that's only the beginning. Our work has just begun. We need to take the steps we've outlined in this paper because they are for the benefits of people in this country, for victims of crime in this country, for people crying for help in this country, for communities in this country. We're not going to follow the other parties by just posturing, taking policies that won't work. We know Labour have done that. We know the Tories want to do that. We heard from Theresa May how much more she wants to do. And we heard from a much better potential MP for Maidenhead here today. We will show people that a liberal approach works, that allows offenders to rebuild their lives away from crime, that protects civil liberties, that actually tackles the roots of crime. We have a proposal that is radical, rad radical and pragmatic, ambitious and level-headed. It will transform our communities into a much better place. That's what the public wants. That's what our country deserves. And that conference is worth fighting for. Support this motion. Support the amendment. Thank you.